Hello and welcome to Stotch Ross Maths key skill video on interpreting the correlation represented on a scatter graph. Now a scatter graph is useful for plotting data when each piece of data has two values associated with it. So for example, each of these crosses represents a person in this particular example and there's two values associated with each person. We've got their age, so for example this person is around about 17 years old and we've also got what their annual earnings are, so in this case about 25,000. So each point represents a person with two values, age and earnings, and we can plot these on a scatter graph. Now can you see there's a kind of relationship between age and earnings? For most people, as they get older, can you see the earnings is sort of tending to increase? Take these two people, for example. This person is older than this person, so he has more years, and he earns more than this person. Now, that's not always true. Take these points, for example. This person is older than that person, but he earns less. But overall, there's this kind of trend that the older you are, the more you earn. And we call that a positive correlation. So if you're asked to describe the correlation, you would say there's a positive correlation because as one thing increases, the age, the other thing also tends to increase. What about this one? We've got time spent playing Fortnite in hours per day and maths mark out of 100. And can you see this data has a kind of downward kind of trajectory? And that's not always the case. For example, this person played Fortnite than this person but they actually got a higher mass mark. But there's an overall trend that looks like this, that as they spend more time playing Fortnite, they get a worse mass mark. And because this line is going downhill, we say the data has a negative correlation because that line has a negative gradient. Now, what about this last one? People in town called Dave and the number of crimes per month. Now, can you see there's no trend in this data at all? There's no kind of uphill trajectory. There's no kind of downhill trajectory. It seems to be completely random uh, for each town, the crimes per month and the people called Dave. They don't seem to have any kind of relationship. And if that happens, we say that the people in the town called Dave and the crime rate, there is no correlation.